as we participate in this auspicious occasion and witness the commissioning parade, we are reminded of the sacrifices these gallant officers and soldiers made for Kenya. We are summoned to reflect on the full implication of a soldier's life, especially the demands they must rise to beyond the call of duty. Their dedication, selflessness, and courage in the line of duty exemplifies the highest ideals of professionalism and patriotism in service of our beloved nation. May their legacy inspire and guide you as you commence your journey as commissioned officers. We will never forget their sacrifice and their memory will live in our hearts. May God continue to rest their souls in eternal peace. On behalf of our fellow Kenyans, I convey deep gratitude to all the parents and family and guardians, both present here and at home, for supporting, nurturing, and mentoring exemplary young people and encouraging them to defend our motherland as their professional calling. Your efforts and sacrifices in providing a strong moral and intellectual foundation for them were not in vain. We applaud you as family for your contribution which have shaped them into responsible citizens, now gallant warriors, and devoted patriots. To the graduates, I join you in rejoicing on this day that you have all looked forward to with joyful anticipation, even as you underwent rigorous preparation, challenging tests, and difficult exercises. The journey of becoming a military officer is not easy. It is not a walk in the park. It is fraught with challenges that only the very best can overcome. Each of you standing before us today has endured thorough training that tested your limits and pushed you beyond what you thought was possible. By excelling in grueling military exercise and meticulous work, you have demonstrated physical, psychological resilience discipline and focus, as well as strong devotion to your chosen path. Today, you emerge stronger and ready to take up your responsibilities. And from me, I say congratulations. It is a matter of great pride for us all to note that Kenya Military Academy also trains cadets from many allied countries in our region and across our continent. I am confident that after this ceremony, the commissioning officers from Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania will return to their countries properly equipped with first-class training from this premier military institution. The allied countries represented by cadets in different cohorts within the academy include Egypt, Burkina Faso, Malawi, Mozambique, and Sierra Leone. More importantly, I am confident that the friendship established amongst yourselves will contribute to strengthening our bilateral ties and accelerating Pan-African unity and integration. The diversity of the cadets enrolled in this academy affirms my confidence in our bonds and our collective capacity to respond effectively to present, emerging, regional, and global security challenges. I therefore congratulate all of you, the Commissioning Officer Cadets, for successfully launching your journey on the path to becoming future leaders of our defense forces and those of allied countries represented here. The holistic approach to training embraced by this academy sets our officers apart, equipping them not only with the skills and knowledge necessary for their roles as leaders and commanders of the 21st century, but also 
with the moral capacity to lead with integrity, courage, and honor. As you take up your oath today to commission into the esteemed officer Kada of the Kenya Defense Forces, always remember that the path you have chosen transcends a mere career. The soldier's way is a noble vocation, and you are called to dedicate your life to service and sacrifice. Today, you are not merely graduating. You are embracing a sacred calling to lead, command, and manage troops and resources of the Kenya Defense Forces with sound judgment, even in situations of extreme hardship. Your most important duty is, to, uh, is the accomplishment of your mission and a loyal, committed, and considered attention to all soldiers who will be placed under your command. As future leaders of the, our defense forces, you must bear the responsibility of protecting your sovereignty and our collective sovereignty, defending our borders with grace and fortitude, and living up to your oath of office. I call upon each of you to execute this responsibility with total dedication and commitment, ensuring the safety and security of all our children, our men, our women, and the people of Kenya. The multiplicity, magnitude, and dynamism of security challenges in today's globalized and interconnected world demands a robust strategic mindset capable of constantly keeping risk at bay through innovative and proactive approaches. Kenya, in particular, grapples with a range of threats, including terrorism, transnational organized crime, cybersecurity threats, the security-related impacts of climate change, banditry, and cattle rustling. Without exception, these challenges pose great threats to the safety and security of our citizens and have the potential to undermine our economic development and national security. The country looks to you, the Kenyan contingent in this cohort, as future leaders of the KDF to be at the forefront of devising imaginative and efficient strategies to combat these 